Um, I went to Me University of Memphis for a second. Uh, I went, it was a non degree seeking student. I wasn't serious, man. I wasn't mm -hmm. trying to, you know, get no degrees. Hell, to be honest with you, if I'm being transparent, I didn't know what the future held for me. I didn't. You um, talking about after high school? Yeah, I was just kind of going with the flow, man. So, so when you left high school, you wasn't automatically thinking, okay, I'm gonna get kind of this thing with my pops. No, or uh, nothing like that. It was just like no, because at that time he was still in Memphis, mm -hmm. pretty much still doing doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But see, but things went left for me when I got in a relationship with a young lady, and uh, it's always the women. Yeah, man. Day, yeah, man. And this is actually, you know, like part of my testimony. Got in a relationship with her. Uh, thought I had two kids. You thought you had two kids. Thought I had two kids. Okay. Right. That's what she told you. Right. Okay. So, I got you. you know, long story yeah, short, yeah, uh, the spirit of uh, my Pubridge came upon me. You are not the father. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> This you came are, up on you like yeah, that. You yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But but no, man. Yeah. In all actuality, man, you could not have told me I would not have been in the ministry. I'm I'm actually a seminary graduate. I did not know that. Yeah, I got a degree in biblical studies. Where? Um, I went to Mid America, and then I wrapped yeah, right, up at yeah. Um, yeah, right here by Bellevue. School. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, wrapped up online at um, Andersonville Theological Seminary in Andersonville, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know that. I knew you was at um, you was at doing some new direction. Yeah, it was at heavy. The time. Was heavy in, in yeah. the ministry over there. Yeah. Well, that makes sense now because a lot of times when I used to be over there, you, you know, performing see, and stuff right, like that. But right. some of the conversations we was having, and I'm like. Why is he talking like you know? It's like yeah. I had no idea, but I never asked you that. You know right. what I'm saying? But then you knew, like when I got out of school, like that was not right. my goal at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I end up doing that. You know, when I graduated, and so like, but we used to have deep conversations, and we'd be talking. But it kind of threw me because yeah. it's like you saw that that theological side. Yeah, I mean, but but we were both doing that, but it was just yeah. like a trip because knowing like some of the jokes we used to tell and stuff we used to be a part of in school it was like yeah you know so i yeah i actually i find i financed my my whole uh you know seminary situation i was parking cars part-time at the uh not part-time here full-time at the marriott at the marriott right. hotel for maybe three years you know i was always one of those guys where i i had to i can't sit still right so being a valet parker was right up my alley you know what I mean? I kind of come and go as I wanted to. If I wanted to hide for a minute, I would, <laughs> I would hide in a minute. Right. You know, I parked some of the best vehicles and declared and decreed I would own this one and that one. And, right. Um, but I was always going back and forth with my father in terms of, I need you to run this thing for me. And the way it all came out was I was at home one day. I had just got off the phone with him. I was like, man, I don't want to leave my daddy hanging because at this time he getting ready to leave mm. and move out of town. So it was almost as if I was I was the hang up or the hiccup. Like I can't leave Memphis until you know he gets it together yeah. or you know he jumps on board. So I was reading, uh, little enough, First Samuel. I think it's First Samuel chapter nine and ten when Saul becomes king. And uh, his daddy goes to him and said that I, I lost my donkeys. I need you, you and your friend to go go find them for me. Mm -hmm. And of course, donkeys represent nobility. It represented, you know, who his daddy was. If you had a lot of right. livestock, cattle, mm -hmm. donkeys at the time, you pretty much the man. So he lost them. And Saul sets out to go find them. And uh, in route, so he runs into the prophet, and the prophet tells him, you know, that he's gonna ultimately become king. And oh, by the way, the donkeys that you was looking for. You know, you know, they found them. You cool. And so in that, I'm like, God, what are you saying to me? And it's when it hit me. You know, my job is to chase my daddy's donkeys, whatever that, whatever mm. represents him. That's what you need to do. And it's, it's been a blessing. So. And that, that ended up being your wealthy play. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's what I tell people yeah. all the time. You know, I just feel like I'm here to be impactful. Mm. And whatever represents God, you know, there is your blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um. Yeah, that's 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 how that went down, and like you said, that is how I found my uh, my wealthy place.